Hi, welcome to CS520, Advanced Web Programming. Today I'll go over the syllabus and give you an overview of what the course is about. First of all, this is a class website. The URL of the website is csns.calstatela.edu slash site slash x15 slash cs520-1. X15 stands for summer 2015, CS520 is a course code, and the one is a section number. An easy way to get here is to log into your CSNS account, then simply click on the name of the class, and it will take you right here. The class website is very, very important, as all the class materials like uh, lecture notes, lecture videos, assignments, and so on, will be available here. New course materials and assignments will be posted every Monday in the morning, so please check the class website at least once a week, preferably on one day, uh, Monday afternoon. And uh, then let's go over the syllabus. My name is Chen Yu Sang, and uh, this is my email address. The officially scheduled lecture time is on Wednesday, so I'll be on campus pretty much all day on Wednesdays. I also have office hours in my office on Monday and Friday from 2 to 4 p.m., and you can email me to set up additional time to meet if you cannot make to the office hours. We also have two TAs, Misha and Hash. The TAs are mostly in charge of grading assignments, but they will also hold additional office hours. Misha will be available on Thursdays from 3.30 to 5.30, and Hash will be available on Tuesdays from 3.30 to 5.30. Both of them will hold their office hours in the Computer Science Department office. Between the TAs and myself, I think we've got uh, all the weekdays covered. Now, about the class itself, it's called web programming, so of course we'll write some web programs. But for me, the class is not really about web programming per se. Some of you in the class will probably become web developers after you graduate, which is great. But most of you probably will do some other types of software development in the future. So to make this class useful to everybody, I like to put the emphasis, uh, put the emphasis on the technologies, frameworks, methodologies, and practices to create large, complex, robust, and maintainable software. And the web development simply provides a concrete context for us to apply all those things. In other words, the goal of the class is not to learn web programming per se, but to learn how to develop good software in the right way using web development as an example. Now, for the, for the prerequisite of the class, the prerequisite for the class is CS320. If you are able to register for the class, you've already met the prerequisites, at least officially. In case you came from a non-Java background or you already forgot about your CS320 stuff, you can review your CS320 materials here. Just go to the class website under the section Additional Course Materials Click on the link that says CS320 Lectures and Code Examples. Here you will find all the CS320 lecture notes, video recordings, and uh, code examples, and so on. So um, you can use this to review some CS320 stuff if you want. And uh, later on, we'll also do a brief review of some important points about uh, Servlet and JSP programming.
Now for the textbooks or the references. In this class, we'll cover lots of subjects, and there are many books covering each of these subjects, actually. But unfortunately, there's not a book that covers all of them. Here I listed some books which you can check out once you get to certain subjects. All of these are very good books, and uh, another good thing about them is that they are all available for free on the Safari online library. If you are a Cal State LA student, you can log into Safari online using your student account username and password. Actually, because I already logged in on this computer, so when I click on the link, it goes directly to Safari Books Online. But uh, for you, when you click this link for the first time, it should take you to a Cal State LA library, library website where you can enter your um, campus username and password. And once you log in, it will take you to the Safari Books Online website. And here you can search for the books that uh, you, you need. For example, we can search for Spring in Action. And uh, the book is right here. Safari Books Online is a really, really good uh, resource. It has lots of good books, not just for this class, but for other classes as well. Since uh, your tuition fees are already paid for it, you might as well take advantage of it. Now, for development environment used in this class, please check out this guide. It tells you how to uh, what software we need, how to install them, and uh, uh, config them, and so on. So uh, this is for a, a separate video, I guess. And uh, then here's how the grade will be calculated. The homework assignments will account for 45% of the total grade. Homework assignments will all be programming assignments. Basically, we'll break a large project down into five to, six, five to six homework assignments. Each assignment will be built on top of the previous one. So in the end, you'll complete a fairly complex application. We'll also have some exercises. And the exercise, and the exercise questions are usually directly related to a particular lecture. And uh, these exercises are worth 5% of the total grade. And then there's the midterm and the final. Both exams will be programming exercises where you have to complete a, a application within a time limit. And the time limit is typically about three hours. Here is the schedule for the quarter. I won't get into each item, which you can uh, read here, uh, but I want to point out that uh, our midterm will be in week seven, which is uh, pretty late. Usually it's very close to the final drop deadline. So if you want to drop the class, don't wait until after getting the midterm grade because it's likely to be too late. The homework assignments should be a pretty good indicator of how well you're doing in class, so don't wait for the midterm grade to decide whether you want to drop. And uh, here are some useful online resources. This is the class homepage, which you should check often, by the way. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, this is a class forum. Here you can ask questions and getting answers. And uh, generally speaking, if you have questions regarding the class, please uh, post your question in the class forum instead of emailing me. Uh, the reason for that is if you post questions in the forum and then I reply it, everybody can see the answer so that I don't have to answer the same question again and again, which uh, usually is the case for homework-related questions. Only if your question concerns uh, 
only yourself, for example, you know, if you are sick, cannot uh, go to class or attend, uh, you know, take exercises or something, uh, then by all means email me. Uh, but if it's a general question related to the class, to the homework assignments, uh, please post a question in the class forum. Uh, all the students and the instructors and TAs are automatically subscribed to the forum. So uh, when you post a question in the forum, I automatically get a notification it, uh, in email. So it's uh, as effective and uh, efficient as uh, emailing me directly, only, only better because everybody can see the question and answer. Uh, also in this forum, you can read about the late submission policy and uh, you can also read about uh, uh, some questions that were asked by uh, students, uh, by other students when they took the class. Uh, note that uh, also there is a search function in the forum, so you can search for specific things. For example, say uh, Tomcat startup problem, and uh, you can check out some previous threads uh, regarding uh, those things. And uh, coming back, uh, this is a link to Safari Books Online. You can see uh, from the URL that uh, it actually takes uh, you to a library web website if you haven't logged in yet. And the uh, uh, rest of this are uh, various references and documentation, uh, most of which you'll need to read at some point during the quarter. And uh, uh, last but not least, in this class, I take cheating very seriously. Every quarter, there were students who got F for cheating in the class. If you don't believe me, just ask around. So uh, do not cheat, uh, because there will be serious consequences. Uh, but even more importantly, uh, don't cheat. Learn something, because this class is going to be very useful for your career. Okay. So this is the end of the overview of the class. Hope you all enjoy the class, and uh, we'll have a great summer together. <laughs>